Hi, I'm The Rap Critic, and before you leave a comment saying, Uh, this video is too old for you to do a video about it now, this was a request by David Rivera. And if you'd like to request an episode and see other exclusive material, go to my Patreon for more info. Now, I'm not the type to make personal attacks on people on this show, but after watching this music video, I can only conclude, Young Thug is an ungrateful douchebag. Yeah, I know celebrities in general are most likely all horrible people, but usually they try to hide it in some way. But watching the video for Wyclef Jean left me with no doubt as to Young Thug's unappreciative douchebaggery. You see, according to the director, Young Thug had a plan for a wacky video that the director wanted to help him realize. It was going to be filled with hot chicks next to children's cars, with kids dressed as cops destroying cop cars. It was going to be great. The only problem was, Young Thug decided to show up 10 hours late to the video and never got out of his car. Which is weird because, I mean, it's not like someone forced him into an idea he didn't like. This was specifically his idea, as made clear by the fact that at the beginning of the video, you could hear a recording of Young Thug giving directions for what he wanted. So why would he not want to be part of it? But yeah, apparently, most of the day was filled with either them waiting, the label telling them he was eventually going to show up, but just not doing it, and trying to film whatever they could to salvage something from this disaster. However, when it came time to edit for this project, the director wasn't having it. And in a sort of semi-revenge for his wasted time, he retroactively made the video all about the bullshit he had to deal with trying to film the video. So much so that it's rendered pretty much impossible to even pay attention to the song. So I'm not even gonna act like that's the focus here. And all throughout he brings up the stuff they tried to do to work around his absence, including doing the set piece of them destroying a police car, which apparently caused the police in the area to have a few questions. They also had a few less than inspiring ideas. Like making these two women eat a sausage from both ends, because you know, sex. You remember sex? That, that's the thing. Let's remind you of sex. Sex happens sometimes. This looks like sex. They also wanted him to be in a tiny car with two women pulling the car with collars and chain leashes on. Yeah, maybe it was a good idea to not show up for this video. But the label didn't approve of the scene. Not because it would be degrading to women, because, <laughs> I mean, who cares about that? But because of, quote, impressionable children. A point that is hilariously undercut by the fact that the next lyric in the song is this. Let me put it on your face. Let a nigga nut. Only way I go to slay. So to be clear, spraying man yogurt on a woman's face, good for all ages. But let him wear a collar while it's happening? Whoop, burr, 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 someone think of the children! Going back to Young Thug though, I, I think what I really hate the most is all the people acting like this is cute. Oh, what a rascal that Young Thug is! It's brilliant the way he just wasted people's time. I can only believe the people saying this either don't know what it's like to work on a set with a lot of moving parts and people to pay, or they probably kind of wish they could be as flippantly dismissive about their jobs as well. Ha, yeah, I could just not show up to a job and get absolutely no repercussions for it. But fuck that, that's disrespectful to all people involved. But for some reason, the internet has given him no sort of flack for it. Listen to what the director of the video even said about him. I do think, in the end, Young Thug's creative broad stroke of simply not showing up made this video. His creative broad stroke of not showing up. Is he like the rap game Andy Kaufman or something and I missed it? What the fuck is going on? Can you believe the nonsense people have to make up to excuse this shitty behavior? You can almost hear the grit toothed grin this man had to give in order to say that sentence, as it took everything in him not to burn that bridge that Young Thug is generously providing the matches and lighter fluid for. For real, someone please tell me this statement was supposed to be sarcastic. Like Young Thug was really sitting at home playing Madden while thinking, oh man, I sure am being a creative genius by not doing anything. Yeah, try that one next time you're late to your job. No sir, I, I didn't forget it was Monday for the last six hours. I was just creatively interpreting what it means to go to work. That's quite possibly the worst lie I've ever heard in my life. You are so unbelievably fired. All my jurors fall, yeah they got it all. Daughter sexy and my son got the bra. Did he just say that his daughter is sexy? You know what? I I'm not gonna focus on that. Of course, now that I think about it, seeing that so much stuff on the internet is trying to be unconventional in order to go viral, I'm not entirely sure this isn't a gimmick also. I mean, I find it odd that Noisy's YouTube channel just happened to want to do a behind the scenes special for this specific video, drawing even more attention to his absence. Also, Young Thug hasn't really commented on or explained his absence or anything, so it's odd that he just doesn't mind being called out for his blatant unprofessionalism. It seriously, it's complete bullshit that if a sound engineer or, or a guy who does the lighting for the video was 10 hours late, for the shoot, dude would get fired on the spot. But everyone has a good hearty laugh and calls Young Thug a creative genius because he couldn't be bothered to do the arduous task of standing in front of a mansion and lip syncing the words to his own songs. 
I just don't buy it. And now that I think about it, for real, I want to give a shout out to all the people who work behind the scenes on things like this. The people who relocate their lives into big cities to hopefully get a break working for a company that ultimately is exploiting your passion in order to pay you less than you're worth. The people who are working hard at their craft every day to make sure they're presenting the best possible resume they can and wake up at ungodly hours of the morning to get to work on something as meticulous and frustrating as filming a video can be and do all of that with a smile and to the best of their ability only to have the main celebrity of the event piss away the whole day smoking weed and watching Netflix, only to be like, oh shit, uh, I should probably show up for that video shoot eventually, r r right after I finish this season of House of Cards. Seriously, what a dick. <sighs> Watch, I bet after I've made this whole spiel, it's gonna come out that he was like saving children from a burning building or something. Then I look like the asshole.